My greatest fear about technology in the public sector is that it'll perpetuate a lot of the problems um, around um, exclusivity, inequity um, that already exist. My biggest fear is algorithmic bias, and I think about this a lot. Um, so the world is becoming increasingly more data-driven and to me that's really scary because we don't actually know how companies and organizations are using this data. While technology is a force for good in our society, I think that it doesn't work great for everyone. I think that there are groups that are left out and left behind. The disparity of access between different groups and different populations, there definitely is a disparity between who has access to these new technologies, who has access to the data. We are moving closer and closer every day to a surveillance state. The social and political structures we've built can't deal with the incoming technological change. I interned at the Los Angeles Police Department's Information Technology Bureau and was at the same time working with the Los Angeles Mayor's data team. I was the first time that I had seen government and technology intersected. I could see the way fields that I had been really passionate about and also fields that I had never heard of before could intersect and I could study all these things that were really interesting to me. I took a class with Professor Latanya Sweeney on data privacy. Uh, and how technology and different aspects of that can help change the world. With the city of Miami, we're working on something called Get Housing. Scraping Twitter data to analyze the different communities and different public reactions to the anti-vaccination movement. I'm about to start working on a project with a professor here at Smith with a reproductive justice group. A project to simulate bike sharing uh, so that we can judge the impact of those uh, systems on lower income individuals. My work focused specifically on housing justice. I'm the co-founder of The Move, which is a movement to help build our, rebuild our public's muscle for democracy. Right now, I'm trying to understand how uh, Twitter bot accounts interact with American political elites online. I'm able to, for the first time, like explore these more social science questions about the impacts of data on our society. I think education most helped me realize as a technologist, and this is totally in hindsight, is that effective public interest technologists really have to be both generalists and specialists at the same time. Exploring public policy topics um, from a computational lens and way to influence policy that will make the world a little bit more equitable. As data and technology have begun to really revolutionize the medical space and medical industry, uh, there need to be voices in the room that understand and can anticipate adverse consequences that data and technology can have. We need to design systems and promote equity and fairness in all of the ways that we use technology in our society. Being able to build and tailor these services so we can touch everyone, helping on diversity and inclusion. As the world gets complex, we need as many people as we can tackling the societal issues that are going to arise. And I hope to be one of them.